Hey besties, I'm going to pick up some supplies for this video. This is episode two of my Dollar Tree hack series, and I can't wait to show you what I do with them. So let's do this now. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm really excited you're here. If you're new, welcome. And if you're coming back, I love you guys so much. And we're going to get right into today's DIYs. Got these bowls from the Dollar Tree. They come in a stack of four for a dollar twenty-five. I actually found them also at Dollar General. They were still a dollar. I'm not sure how long that will last. Anyway, I only need one for this hack. So I'm just gonna take one of them and I have this mixture of like a gray paint, a chalk paint with baking soda added to it because I wanted to create kind of like a texture, make it thicker. So I'm putting that on the outside of the bowl. Drying it off with my heat tool from Amazon. Have you guys checked out my Amazon store? I've got the link down in the description box below. Any of the tools that you see me using, or if I mention I got something at Amazon, I try to get it in the store. But this is just there because I know a lot of people want to know where I got something, and this way you can find it. So check it out. And then I can see I definitely need to add more. So I do a second coat, and I'm just plopping it on there, kind of dabbing it, because I want to make sure it gets in all those little cracks and crevices. And I still see a little bit of spaces, so I am going to go over it one more time and do a little bit more, and then that's it. Um, if I maybe had made it a little thicker, I added a little too much water, I think, but that's okay. Three coats, and it was done. So I'm going to dry it off and then move on to the next step. I'm going to use my moss-colored chalk paint from Waverly. I'm going to make like an ombre, so on the very bottom and over the edge, I'm going to do the moss color. Once I finish all of the moss, I'm going to take the celery color chalk paint and I'm going to blend it where the moss ends purposely so that makes that middle color, if you will. And then I will dip my brush very heavily in the celery paint to do the bottom so it'll be lighter. And it does create an ombre effect. It just naturally kind of blends in the middle between the two colors. And I love that look so much. I just, and that all these greens are gorgeous. I just love them. I'm gonna let that dry. And then I've got these salt and pepper shakers and they were also a dollar for two. I don't know if they're always at Dollar Tree, but I found them at Dollar General, same company. I found out about Family Dollar from She's So Crafty and I'll link the video where she talks about it down below. It's awesome. So I'm adding these little stones that I got from the Dollar Tree. I put a ribbon on there, but I realized I needed to wait to put it back on. So I wanted the lid on there. So now I'm just reattaching the ribbon. I had used my Beacon Fabri-Tac glue for that so it wasn't dry yet. Easy fix. And then I'm going to put a combination of Aileen's Tacky Blue and Hot Glue on there. And I'm going to turn the bowl over and attach that right to the middle of the bottom of the bowl. Wait for that hot glue to dry and then carefully turn it over. And what I'm going to do is take some more of those stones. And then I've got three gorgeous succulents from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put them in there. You guys, that's it. This could not be easier and it's so pretty. And the reason I kept the lid on the salt or pepper shaker is so I could unscrew it and change out if I wanted to change the look. Didn't have to glue anything in. It's just easy to change for seasons or whatever you want. I love this one. You have to tell me what you think. Easy, easy, easy. What an awesome Dollar Tree hack. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. It really helps YouTube show my video to others and I appreciate it so much. This Dollar Tree bowl hack is so cute. Got one bowl and then I've got that rope from Walmart, which by the way, it's very inexpensive. The celery colored chalk paint and I'm just gonna paint the inside of the bowl. There's really no reason to paint the outside because it's gonna be covered with the rope. Of course, use my heat tool to dry it and then I'm going to use some Mod Podge for the inside. That way if I put things in this bowl, they won't scratch the paint. Now I've turned the bowl over and I'm gonna take my hot glue and take the rope and I slowed it down so you can see I'm just gonna kind of start winding it around itself. Almost look like a flat little spiral. You'll see it in a second. 
And then I'm going to set that right on that little bit of hot glue that I put there. And I'm going to start what will be a spiral going around and around and around to cover the entire bowl. And you'll see right when I lift my hands what the start of it looks like. And then I will just keep adding hot glue and I'll just go around and around. And I do use hot glue for the entire thing. I don't want part of it to lift up. I think that's risky in this particular situation. And then I'll skip ahead and show you when I've got a little bit more of it done. It's looking really nice. And then I'm going to take two pieces of rope and I made them the same size and I'm going to attach them with hot glue to one to each side and it will become the handle. And once it's attached, I will continue wrapping the rope around and that way you won't even see where I've attached the handle. I mean, there'll be a little kind of bump in the rope, which you will see at the end, but it looks really cool. And so this is just the best way to secure that and that way no matter what, that rope is on there really good and if there's something a little bit heavier in the bowl, it will be able to handle it. <laughs> no pun intended, the handles can handle it. <laughs> Anyway, and if you notice, there's a little crack in my bowl. I don't know how I did that, but it's going to be wrapped in the rope, so it's really going to be stable when it's all said and done. So now the second handle's on, and I'm going to continue the wrapping around and around. I won't show you the whole thing. And there it is. So I think that looks really nice and it just makes it much more secure. And then I'm going to take these two corks and I'm going to cut them to the same size. I end up taking another one and I'm going to use these to make legs for the bottom of this bowl. And I just think it's so cute. It makes it very rustic. I'm going to take a pen and mark where I want them to be so I don't forget and get them on there pretty evenly. And then I'm going to use E6000 and a little bit of hot glue to secure each one so that it will stay in place while I finish this project. Now, because they're not all the same color, I took some cashew and hazelnut chalk paint by Waverly and I mixed them together. I'm trying to get a color that complements the cork color. So I end up adding some antique wax and then I really like what it looked like. And I'm just going to paint the very bottom of the legs and a little band around the bottom and leave the cork for the rest of it. And I think that is just a really nice look. It almost came out kind of khaki. I love this one, so easy. I hope you like it. Are you on social media? I am. I have an Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, and I'd love for you to come join me. I've got all the links down in my description box. Please check it out. For this Dollar Tree bowl hack, I'm going to use this candle from the Dollar Tree. These three flowers I took off a pick from the Dollar Tree. And then this was from a pick I got at Walmart, and these are also from the Dollar Tree. I don't end up using those little pink kind of berry ones. I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum Chalked Linen White paint and I'm just going to take one bowl and I'm going to paint the entire outside. And I will do several coats because I want to make sure that it's very solid. I'm going to dry it with my heat tool that I got from Amazon. That thing is a lifesaver. And then I'm going to use some Mod Podge and cover the entire bowl. I just want to seal in that paint. Mostly because I am going to be resting the glass candle holder. Now I'm going to take a little bit of twine and some Beacon Fabric Tack Glue and I'm just going to put it all around the very, well it's the top edge of the bowl but for this particular DIY or hack it is going to be the very bottom. And I'm just going to put that around the entire edge. I'm going to start snipping off the little, like the leaves with the yellow kind of flowers on them because that's the only part I'm going to use of that pick. And then I'm going to take those little pieces I cut off of a Walmart pick, and I'm going to turn the bowl upside down. Well, actually, in this case, right side up. And I'm just going to hot glue one piece at a time right on there and just kind of hold it till it sticks. I'm going to overlap them because I want that to be a really nice kind of coverage going all around the bowl. It's going to look like a little wreath or a centerpiece in this case, but it'll definitely have that wreath look. And I'm just loving how this is already starting to look. And there we go, all of those are on. I do fill in a couple gaps here and there. And once I do, I'm gonna take some hot glue and some rope from Walmart, and I'm just gonna put it all the way around and that's gonna help secure those pieces on, not just the bottom, but over the 
well, over the bottom and the top of them, whichever way you're looking at it. But that's one of the reasons I put the rope around the bowl in the first place, was that so it would have something to glue it to. I don't think those plastic bowls would be enough to just put those little picks on. Then I'm going to take those little pieces with the little like yellow flowery parts on them and I cut them up into very small little pieces and then put them one at a time. I'm just going to kind of put glue on the end and shove them right in between the other pieces and they stand up a little bit so it gives it a little bit of height and more texture. I'm going to take my little snips and I'm just going to take any really pointy pieces from those little teeny picks and cut them off. The ones from the bigger leaf picks are just fine. They're kind of rounded. And there it is. It looks really pretty now. And then I'm going to take the three flowers that I have. I pulled off the leaves so there's just a little point on them. And I'm going to put them around this centerpiece wreath. And then I'll put a little dab of hot glue on the other side where it pokes through just to solidify that it's in there. I'll do the same with all three of these. And of course those glue webs are driving me crazy. You have to tell me in the comments if they drive you crazy too. I've tried everything. The heat tool, a brush, you name it, they're still there. And there it is. I'm loving how it looks and there's the candle on it. This was so easy. This Dollar Tree hack using these bowls, I'm actually going to use two of them. I'm going to take E6000 and my hot glue and I'm going to attach them bottom to bottom. So first I'll put the E6000 on and I will leave space to do the hot glue. I don't like them to touch if I can help it because E6000 cools down the hot glue too fast and then it doesn't work. So there we go. And I'm just going to attach them. And I was trying to line up the pattern. It wasn't as easy as I thought. Because you know how it is at Dollar Tree. No two things are ever the same. I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum Chalked Linen White Paint. And I'm going to cover this whole entire thing, including the top inside. Because if I don't, the area where you see where I glued it will show. So I'm going to do one side, use my heat tool to dry it off from Amazon, and then I will do the other side. And I do some touch-ups, so it's not a full two coats, but it probably is almost two coats. I just love that bright white. It's so pretty. Of course, I am going to change that. And now I'm doing the inside so that you don't see that one part. You don't have to do it on the bottom too, just on the top. Then I'm going to go in with my elephant colored paint from Waverly. It's, it's a very dark gray. And I'm going to use a very wide brush. I forget what those brushes are called. If anyone knows, please tell me in the comments because I'm drawing a blank. And it's really good for this kind of distressing because you just get a little bit on your brush and you're basically dry brushing, but it's like a fan. I think that's what it is, a fan brush. Anyway, I love the way it looks. And I am going to do the inside of the top. You won't really ever see the bottom, but I'm going to do the inside of the top too. And I love the way this is coming out. You guys, this is easy. Seriously, this is such a fast, easy DIY. I had a shoelace that we weren't using, so I cut off the little end and then I wrapped it around and got the right size. And I'm using my Beacon Fabricat glue to attach it all the way around the middle. And it's a perfect kind of garnish or trim for this project. And then I've got these ferns from the Dollar Tree and I thought why cut up three just to get the ends? I'll take one, cut it into thirds, and then use my scissors and make it look like they're each ends by cutting it to a point. You'll see what I'm going to do right here. See that? So I just do that on the two that I cut off and then the, of course the first one was already like that. Way to go! Now I've got three end pieces and I only had to use one piece of the fern. And then I've got this gorgeous pink flower. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really pretty. <laughs> it had yellow in the middle, so I wanted to add these little pieces that I had left over from Walmart picks. And I'm going to put three of those in there, and it just didn't look right sitting by itself. So I grabbed some Spanish moss that I had on hand, put it in there, and then I just set them in there. I didn't even glue it in case I want to change it out, and it's so pretty. How easy is this? For this Dollar Tree bowl hack, I'm going to take one bowl and these napkins, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby, they are three ply, which means you have to remove two plies. I'm going to use some Mod Podge, we'll be doing some decoupaging. So there's layer one, 
and a little tougher to remove, but there is layer two. And that leaves me with the third ply, in this case, the top that has the little sea creatures or sea animals on it. I'm gonna cut them out with like fussy cutting. I'm just gonna put them with some Mod Podge on the inside of the bowl, just kind of place them around, sort of in a pattern, I guess. I'll lay a coat of the Mod Podge down, then I'll place some in the bottom of the bowl. I'm just gonna put the other ones kind of in four places around the inside of the bowl, and you'll see me doing that here. Always of layer Mod Podge first, especially with very thin napkins. And then I'll put some over the top once that dries so I don't move the napkins around and smudge the whole thing up. I am going to put more Mod Podge inside the bowl just to cover everything so it doesn't look funny that some parts have it and some parts don't. And then when I dry it with my heat tool, you can't even see the Mod Podge and it looks really cool. Obviously, this is a coastal theme DIY. Got these seashells from the Dollar Tree and I found this little piece of glass at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. I'm not really sure what it was for, maybe a candle, but I'm going to end up attaching it to the bottom of the bowl. But first I'm going to fill up that little glass bowl with the seashells. Just try to arrange them so you can see the seashells well. And some of them were too big, so I kind of just cherry picked the ones I really like. Once I have them all in there, you can see them through the glass, they look really cute. Before I attach it, I'm going to take some of my white chalk paint and just paint around the very tip edge of the bowl. I just thought that kind of finished it off and made it look really nice. I'm going to take my E6000, and if you like that little twisty thing I have for it, that's in my Amazon store. I love that thing. I'm going to put some E6000 around the edge, and then in the gaps where I didn't put it, I'm going to put some hot glue, and that way it'll stay together while the E6000 cures. Turn the bowl upside down, and I'm just going to place that right in the center of the bottom of the bowl. Then I wanted to put something where the seam, where they meet each other, so I've got this white rope. Actually, it's a piece of a Dollar Tree mop head. <laughs> I thought that made it look kind of coastal too, so I just hot glued that all the way around there. And then I decided to take some rope from Walmart, and I'm going to put some above the white rope and below it so it kind of lines it. And I think that's a really cool look for the coastal theme. And then I add a little bit to the very bottom of the glass bowl too. I just thought that finished it off. I really think this is cute and talk about easy. Oh my gosh, such an easy piece. It'll go nicely in my bedroom, which is the only room in my house that has coastal. This would be a great thing to throw jewelry, knickknacks, whatever in and have it sitting like on the dresser. I hope you guys like this one. What a great Dollar Tree hack for this bowl. And now for one last look at all five of these Dollar Tree bowl hacks. I love doing these. You have to let me know in the comments if you really like these kind of videos because I definitely want to do more and I'm hoping that you guys really like them. Be sure to let me know which one was your favorite. I think my favorite is cross between the double bowl and the rope bowl. Those seem to be the ones I like the most. If you like this video, I've got a couple other videos up here that I think you'll really like. Click on one of those next and I'll see you there. And don't forget, you are a blessing to me. Mm -hmm.